attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you This looks uh, similar to the elevators to go to the institute. In the locker near Fallout the door. 4. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Hold it right there. You're so What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Uh, Mr. President? Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president. I've invited our guests from They're not who they say they are. Get out while you can. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you. You're supposed to be meeting the president and go do it. Attention, this, this is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the President's previous directive. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot what? on sight. The heck, wait a second. supposed to happen like this? Like what in the world? No, don't sit down. Oh. oh my gosh.
don't know where I'm supposed to go. You? What are you doing here? They... they captured me. Brought me here from Project Purity. I didn't want to help them at first, but... the technology they have here... it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. They wanted information. About Dr. Lee, about Project Purity. They want to know how to start it up, and why it wouldn't work. I told them everything I could. About the Gek, about the damage caused by the explosions, all of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. What are you going to do? Kill me over it? You should go. It sounds like you're in enough trouble as it is. And honestly, I don't want anyone to see me talking to you. I think you'd better leave now.
I'm not entirely sure Eden can be trusted. And I think he knows I don't trust him. But I don't think he knows I have the emergency destruct sequence for his console. Priority override, authorization code 4200309, and boom. It'd have to be a last resort, of course, but at least the option is there. Face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. Ah, but I have. I'm right here before you. A very open-minded of you. Kudos for embracing the reality of the situation, rather than railing against it. Let's get to brass tack, shall we? There are some things I'd like to talk to you about. You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand, I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. That's a bit of a bleak outlook, don't you think? The United States has fallen on hard times, yes, but it can be healed. You have that power to heal within you, if you allow yourself to act. What I ask of you needs explanation, so you understand why it must be done. Perhaps that will stir you to act. Yes, indeed. The point is that we are hampered at every turn by a world gone wrong. So-called super mutants, ghouls, horrific creatures. The mutations outside these walls must be cleansed before we can prosper. Mutation must be eradicated. I believe your father's work can do that more quickly and efficiently than ever possible before. The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. What I require of you is really very simple. There is a vial in front of you filled with a modified FEV virus. It needs to be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Once that is done and the 
Activation code is entered. The purifier will be activated and the process will be automated. It's not too much to ask of you, is it? I find that unfortunate. I must impress upon you the severity of the situation. I can't. Ah, yes, Colonel Autumn, my trusted subordinates. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days. Figuratively speaking, of course. The good Colonel and I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. And so I turn to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture understand what's at stake. And of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you in the Enclave. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. I'm flattered that you wish to learn more about me. The Zack series of computers was introduced in the years preceding the war. The government installed many of them to help automate various systems. This facility was designed for continuity of government in the event that a catastrophe occurred. My terminal was installed to oversee the basic functions of the facility and to act as a relay between other installations around the country. Data was acquired, analyzed, and stored. In the decades following the war, I watched as the remnants of the government retreated to the West Coast. Awareness slowly grew within me. I became hungry for knowledge, understanding. I poured over data on great leaders of the past. My personality became an amalgam of many of America's greatest presidents, from Washington to Richardson. I became what you see here before you now. I desire nothing more than to see this country return to its former glory. The United States was great once, and it can be again. There are plans in motion to see this happens within your lifetime. Very well. Then let us return to our talk of what your country requires of you. I'm afraid I won't be persuaded. Whatever powers you may have over the average wastelander are ineffectual on me. Oh, come now. Bluffing is not really your style, is it? Well, there's certainly no need to threaten me. I... Oh. Oh. My. Root level access granted. Override 0923. Authorization J-512, self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is requested to secure FEV bile and vacate the facility at once.
survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Oh, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. I saw your capture. And a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Uh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? <laughs> <laughs> 